I met up with Damir at the entrance to the deserted cave town Gyul told him about. Now we must pass through the caves and find the tunnel leading to the water spring itself. Damir dreamt of finding something about his parents and relatives, seeing how his people lived. I'm afraid that what we're about to see will only disappoint him. Looks like we're almost out. Follow me! The passage to the spring! Let's go! Another cave-in! My filter's almost done for! Look! Light! Here! Well, the air seems alright. Masks off. says the locals follow every word the oilmen say, so let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Look, water. See that car? I'll move the air and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck. And try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, all right?
is hundred times worse than being in a fight. There, you at least know where to be. Like the 
This is the life. Great, we finally get a chance to relax. Come here now. Come here now. Who goes there? Why? Open your eyes. Yes. Walk. Why walk? Good dog. Fat dog. Lot of meat. You get now. Hey, Mirza. Please don't. Do you know what to you? Tear head off. Yeah, hey, Marza, tear me head off anyway, but I do buy them good. So, how to go? How 
quiet. Those newcomers from the train ain't showing up either. Did the boys tell you anything about those? Nah. Saul and Glasses went after them with their car, but didn't come back. Well, there was that <laughs> storm, too. So, these newcomers could be the real deal. Could have done them boys in. As if they are special forces or something. They're your regular upstart gang looking for a quick buck. So if they really did do our boys in, they're as good as dead. We are the only water here. Without it, they're gonna be so weak after a couple of days. There's something down there. Nobody here. No skin off my bones, I guess. Oh! <laughs> 
clean operation. You should have seen their marks when I started the car. <sighs> well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. <laughs> Looks like they are killing Chase. Time to get back to their room. You tired? Yeah. All right, brother. Have some rest. Stay there to control the approaches. Yes, sir. Come here, everyone! Oh, we showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... Mm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Don't forget to check your gear and prepare before you set out. Maybe we could still negotiate with them. I tried that already. No dice. He takes women as payment. Artyom, we're fixing to leave already, but I can't stop thinking about the slaves the bandits kept at that dismantled ship. Just imagine, if you hadn't helped them, they'd still be locked up there, with no hope. Thank you, for being... you. <sighs> so tired of this dust. Can't wait to get out of here. Don't take dumb risks there. I need a live husband, not a dead hero.
Артем, Декарс Нир де Орора. Ермак, you sure the pipes will hold? Yeah, we'll have to run them through the whole carriage. <laughs> they should. Our pumps aren't that good. Can't build much of a pressure, so... Tokar, tell me when you're done. I'll be at the bridge. Yes, sir. Uncle Artyom, Uncle Artyom. I drank so much water. It's slashing in my belly now. You drink some too. Grandpa Max says you can drink as much as you want now. We'll also have tea. Artyom, watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Come on, it's Artyom we're talking about. He's made of steel. Just listen to him walk. But yeah, man, you'd better keep both your eyes open out there. The cavalry will be there in the nick of time, of course, but don't go taking unnecessary risks. This health resort here doesn't seem calm enough. Beasts, bandits, and these locals. I think we've overstayed our welcome, so you should make haste. And you, Artyom, try and exercise caution out there. Anna doesn't feel well, and having to worry about you is doing her no good. Well, I think you understand. Well, get ready then. Oh, I just came to take a look what happened here. Can't I see? 
Let's go back to the train, Nastya. Nothing to see here. Nothing? Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I swear. Hmm. All right. Artyom, Gyul and I will soon be leaving, so you can take some rest, do a checkup on your gear, and catch up with us. We'll rendezvous at their base. Check complete. All attackers are confirmed dead. Got it. Are Crest and Yormak on the lookout for more guests? They are. All right. In that case, help the people break the camp. We're moving out. Yes, sir. Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gyul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't like me. Hi. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. 
They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gul is right about the locals. Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Come on, this shit is heavy. Great. See you up there. No use. Nobody go. Nobody fool. We stand here all day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make sleds. More use that way. You said right, completely. Very right. Please!
Nice day, no trouble, no ma-
Are you okay? Oh, great. I was worried for nothing. I have good news. Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Um, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered uh, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan D, then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plan big time. Put the gun down and come up. Otherwise, we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Stench. Don't you fucking catch it from them? Not waste time work here. Come on, why the fuck does it take so long? You could do it with your eyes closed. I know that. Will you stop bugging me? Ha! You must be one of the train gang. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of wheels, I tell you. Of course, we only get to look at it. <sighs> Shit. No, you should fucking you keep fucking your mouth shut about that. that. You're one lucky guy. Got promoted to eternal guards right bitch. off the bat. We only get to look at Well, you just well fucking done. pull it. Very Put your back into it. Yeah. Why the I'll fuck did we feed you yesterday? Fucking shit! All on fire! Ha! That one sure got fired over his stupidity! Fuck me, are they dumb? Third one is weak, the brain dead bastards. What the fuck am I going to tell Castle now? I ran out of your tribals, give me some more? Shut up! I'll teach you how to. <laughs> no kill, Master Misa. No kill, please. Master oh, angry, oh, but still Master. Wishing. If Master dies, they kill me next. Mirza saved me. And Master wakes up, won't remember what was. Thank you, Mirza. I remember Thank Mirza you all my life. life. Thank you, great Mirza. May the holy flame protect you, Mirza. 
Look, you go up that ladder. Past the headquarters, then past the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. What's the use of just standing around? As if anyone is going to attack. Look, you better go. Come on! What's taking so long? here already what use is working good there's only man. shout and beat me i better die than live like this yes you fucking look at that oh drink master's water go give her a lesson forgive me holy mirsa you're a dog shut the fuck up no. the water is for people fuck no. me. for the master Artyom! What's going on? There, there! Will you stop bugging me? I'm making something for ha, the boss. You must be one of the train gang! Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. It's not just any old sort of wheels, I tell you. Of course, we only get to look at it. Shit, well, you just fucking pull it. Put your back into it. Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? Fucking shit! All on fire! Ha! That one sure got fired over his stupidity! Fuck me, are they dumb? Yeah, I'm They're sorry, master. I'm your slave. Was not on purpose. I'm sorry, master. No kill, master. Oh, fine. No kill, please. No, oh, it's the enemy. But the master. Thank you. The dice, they killed me next. Mirza saved me. And master wakes up, won't remember what was. Thank you, Mirza. I remember Mirza all my life. Great news. May the holy flame protect you, Mirza. Come on! What's taking so long? Come over here already! Yes, you fucking look at that. The whore drank Master's water. Gotta give her a lesson. Forgive me, Uli Mirza. I... You're a dog! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a dog! Ah! The water is for people! Ah, you for bitch. the master! Do you get it? <laughs> hey, you! Get your ass over here! Yes, Uli Mursa. Throw this piece of shit out of here! Throw it away! Right now! Move it, move it! Yes, yes, Uli Mursa! Did you fucking see that, that fucking whore? Well, you got to fucking educate them or else they just get out of control. It's one of those new arrivals. Come to lick the boss here. What's the hold up? I'm almost done. Show that you're alive! Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Oh, find me after you talk to the Baron. I won't disappoint. You won't find a girl like me in any city.
You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. The fuel herself has come for you. You'll answer for everything.
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You wanted to create a new world up. with this? Not happening! You're misguided at the time! I Take the Baron! It's the strongest horse alive! Fuck you, your head's in the way. You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried.
Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Christ even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Did never pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. 
saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later.
I could only do rig my scrambler to the transmitter, so don't bother reply. <laughs> Besides, this is a record. I do want to make sure you guys get my message after all. <laughs> it just felt wrong after a while. The way we parted ways... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for how it went. Now that I thought about it, you really had no choice. But what's done is done. And now that Gules plan is in motion, we'll finally free my people once and for all. We have to clear the remaining guns before the raging force comes back, so we arranged a little meeting with them to choose the new high priest. Now that the Baron's out of the picture. We don't have many fighters yet, but luckily both of the bosses want to become Kingpin and they both disregard me completely. So we'll just use that against them. <laughs> Gules is a real genius in power play. Still, no plan is bulletproof. So, uh, I just wanted to say one thing to the whole crew and you, Archon. Thanks for making me feel I belong for once. For giving me a place I could call home for a while. I will remember this for as long as I live. Kebrak met, and Godspeed to you all, Demir. Over and out. Chickens. <laughs> 
Our day has come. Fight them. Fight them however you can. Come where the Baron's rig used to be. Come, and we'll give you weapons. You served those dogs for too long. And what did you get in return? Only cruelty, death, and the holy flame, which I spit at. It is time to chase them away from our land for good now. All of our land, all oil, all food will be ours. Dead to the Munai by Lair. Just go back and try it all again. Wouldn't be the same. We both know there's no way that I ever can. Down to play. Wish I didn't know how you drink, how you sound, how it hurts to care. Wish I wasn't alone.
Artyom. We're lonely without you. Speaking of monks. What did I miss? You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is in River Valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, yeah. everyone! Yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better, you from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death was part. To us us part. part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go, Gorka! 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 What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something. Please. Don't this can't be her. good. Give her air. Damn. Artyom, take a seat. We almost finished all the drinks already. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau. When they dragged me away, <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How don't have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. Take a seat. I don't know about the this. Mind. The old man is furious. Well, Artyom's getting chewed out today. It's not Artyom's fault. I fell into that stupid bunker all by myself. And if Dad says one word to him about it, I'll tear him a new one. Yes. In any case, Katya will calm the colonel down. You shouldn't worry either, Anna. She'll fix you in no time at all. She's good. No doubt about that. We drew the lucky ticket with her, especially you, Stepan. That's a fact. Thank you, Anna. Let us not panic and think constructively. 
So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, long. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been My thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed up some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the scent? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. But what if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Cool girl. Now I understand why she was sold up. Honestly, just imagine thinking about all that for so long. So, what is the jury's verdict? Now, here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Mm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. Это земля была на 
нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю в себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас рожали под звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхи, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to visit Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. <sighs> You said envy was a bad thing, Nastya. Huh? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you'd teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I could come visit you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in Metro. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. At that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes! To children! To children! To children! <sighs> One more toast Ugh. to the new colony. May it grow and prosper. To the hey! new colony. And <laughs> to having more women join it. <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, 
There will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survived too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! Just to be strong. It's your turn, Aunt Young. Come on, impress us. This heat is just unbearable, I must say.
on, play some more. Stepan, could you give us that one? By Borisic. My pleasure. Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет назад. Что жизнь это бой, но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. И дети сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше ходить. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешались с золой. И если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for what? Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Colonel, sir. This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me.
Scott, your friend, but I can see you're two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. You gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
The fuckers tied me up so tight I can't feel my arms. Look, man, the rope's too tight. I can't free myself. Don't leave me here, man! There's lots of fucking wolves here! Hey, come on, I'm tiny already. Will, will ya? Big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear. Ah, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves. I don't seem to recognize you. Which barrack are you from? You should have some nice gear. In any case, don't go there alone. I tried, and well, you know what happened. Ah, these bitches hiding like fucking lizards. I found a way in and was going back already when the fuckers jumped me. Fuck. Uh, fuck. Both legs went to sleep. Can't even move now. Uh, I'll wait here till they wake up and go bring the boys. That was one dumb fuck up. Uh, uh, time to go to the shore. Wait for the boys. They were supposed to move out soon.
last! Stop right there! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Aye! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! Aye! Be a good doggy and get lost! <laughs> It's been two months already. Nobody came for the kids. Viking and Tusha aren't coming back either. The dam workers told they'd give them the lift to the city, but... I should have used my authority to stop them from trying. But back then, I still harbored hopes for evacuation too. Vain hopes, as I understand now, for what evacuation could be expected there's only static on air. Help is not coming. Then again, do we even need help? Our valley was apparently not a target at all. Even the fallout seemed to have spared us. The counter gives you all the even directly under the three pipes. The children are well prepared. All that time I think was spent well. It will be easy to teach the crowd. We have all Survival comes first.
I've been thinking about asking you all this time. All this pirate stuff, the corpses on the post. Do you guys really think the teacher wanted this? The teacher wanted us to defend ourselves. Well, none of this stuff helps. The bandits have been seen in the village again. Plus, our guys caught a drifter today. This just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We will catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits, I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit. Perhaps he was just passing by. If he is not a bandit, he should have just passed us by. But no, he crawled out of the river here. I say make a scarecrow out of him and keep the others away. I don't know about this, really.
Dead kites forever, you dirty scumbag! None of your ill get out of our forest alive, and you know it! Well, I, I think the difference all gone, guys! What's that? Hey, who's that over there? Okay, something just what moved the? in the past. I wonder what it was. Guys, wait, go to Reload! You bad at scam! Where in that house? There was someone. That fuck. You dirty bandit! How damn you! There's something in that pillar. What the hell? I'm sure you're still You bad and scum! Let's see what is going on there. The intruder is here, everyone! You get him! Get him, guys! Enough throwing trash in the forest!
charging. Oh, it seems that a sudden coming. I'm not going to find you, Dresher. Well, you shouldn't have come here. Now you won't hide. I know this forest is the back of my hand! What's in that pass? for a fight. 
Christ, you could at least die like a human. Here you drifter! We need to talk our Plenty of time! <laughs> 